Hi, welcome to the presentation of the work entitled Conceptual Proposal of a Hierarchization System for Patients Candidate to Intensive Care Units in Health Catastrophe Situations. My name is Manuel Casal Guisande, and I am a PhD student and a researcher from the Department of Design in Engineering from the University of Vigo. In this work, we are going to present a hierarchization system to be applied in catastrophe medicine situations. If we remember some months ago, due to the COVID-19, we didn't have the enough resources to take care of all people who, need, who needed to go to ICU because we didn't have enough beds, we didn't have enough respirators, and even people to take care of them. So, our idea here, because difficult decisions must be made in this situation, is to propose a method that can help to do or to make these difficult decisions. We are going to divide this presentation in three points, starting with, with an introduction, then we are going to explain the, the method we, we, we propose or the system, and finally the conclusions that we have obtained. So, since last 2019, due to the COVID, we have been exposed uh, to a really difficult situation where uh, difficult decisions uh, had to be made. It supposed a challenge to the health systems and more specific for, for ICUs because they have to take care of those more severe cases. And as the resources were not enough, Catastrophic medicine arise and difficult decisions must be made. So here we think that the proposal of a possible method that can help to the to the hierarchization of those possible candidates would be of interest. It also should make or possible to combine or confluence the opinion of different professionals and take into account different or multiple criteria. How are we going to do this? Well, we are going to, to start with a group of patients that are candidate to be admitted into, into the ICU. And we're going to have a group of experts that are the ICU assessment team. Each expert is going to evaluate each candidate, okay? And express that evaluation in terms of baggy fascina. We are going to obtain a baggy fatty decision matrix per expert. So we are going to have a group of baggy fatty decision matrix matrices as we have different experts. Our idea here first is to combine these matrices using the IFHG operator with the help of expert weights in order to obtain the collective baggy fatty decision matrix. That matrix repre represents the opinions of all the experts. It's important to highlight that the expert weights make possible to highlight the importance of those experts that has, have more expertise or that are more important in the decision-making process of this group. Okay? Then, using the IFWG operator, we can calculate aggregate value values and we can see that this operator has also the input of the criteria weights. These criteria weights makes possible to highlight the importance of those criteria which are more important in this process. Finally, we, we calculate the scores and we obtain the, the ranking of the patients. Okay, in this moment, the ranking is this one. We have to reevaluate the state of health of the patients every, for example, one day. Uh, in order to determine if someone don't need, uh, doesn't need, sorry, in this moment, the ICU and if other uh, person should go to the ICU. So here we have presented a method that can manage the hierarchization of patients that are candidate to ICU in those catastrophe situations. It also makes possible to combine the opinion of different professionals, taking into account multiple criteria. So finally, I, I would like to thank you for your attention and please do not hesitate to, to drop me an email if you have any questions.